Our primary responsibility is to build men, you know, build young men into men. You know, I'm really, I'm really hard on them. I, I hold my kids accountable every single day, you know, and I, I tell every recruit, every player before they play for me, do not come here if you don't want to be held accountable every day. I expect greatness and I demand it from you every single day. And you better believe in yourself in this program when you take over on, on this level, you know, because I'm in a position where my idols immediately become my rivals. Each year in basketball, there's 1.2 million people just trying to get 35 guaranteed spots in the year. That's what it is. So my point is, what separates you from 1.2 million people in this world trying to get that damn chip? Because that way you're going. And I don't want you fooling yourself. And you could have folded it. And you could have quit and you could have threw it in and be like, man, damn, just we just can't do it. You fall. And then you fall some more. And then you fall some more. And then you fall some more. And that's what men do. Because when you walk in my house, the entire basement is flooded with Ali. And it's not because he knocked anybody out. It was because when he got knocked out by Joe Frazier, when the world wanted his to get knocked out and he got knocked out, he got up in two seconds man. Two seconds, because he won't go give anybody the satisfaction of seeing his lay down on that canvas. Get your ass up and don't give nobody the satisfaction of seeing you lay down. You know, I just basically run the program the same way my mother ran our house. You know, if you clean up before you get anything. You see, is when you go out here in this real world, it's gonna be, it's gonna take that maximum effort every single day. To be the greatest challenge in life is finding finding out who you are. And the second greatest challenge is being happy with what you find. And we're not gonna shy away from that. We're not gonna come up here and be politically correct and say, no, it, it didn't bother us. It's, it's like breaking up or it's like your ex-girlfriend leaving you, you know, for another guy. You never get over that. You know, you move on, but you don't get over that. It's about child believing in y'all. And once you believe in each other, it's nothing greater on this earth to be a part of something that's bigger than yourself. Nothing greater. Nothing greater. That's how you leave that legacy. You know, I'm not a helpless romantic type guy, but you know, I had my heart broken in ninth grade, and you know that bothers me to this day. You know, and I, I, I have done everything as a grown man to not experience that pain ever again in my life. Because when you're down 15 in the real world and you're unemployed, the bills gonna continue to come through that mailbox. That car note is still due. That baby still gotta eat. The other baby still need diapers. <laughs> Daycare still must be paid. I just have to tell you this. I don't want you out here looking at your ads, looking at your mentions, looking at your DMs, and thinking that you arrived. So this right here is what you see every day in my house because it makes me stay grounded to who I am. They're giving you the keys to a Ferrari and you can't crash it right now. You gotta bring it back with a full tank of gas and the car wash. So. That's not gonna be an easy process, but that's what we that's our agenda. So we're not gonna be the person that's in a relationship that our mate broke up with us and we walked to the top of the Empire State Building begging and pleading for them to come back. It's, it's you, you get over it. And that's the first law of manhood. No one cares about your feelings and no one cares about your problems. If anything, they're glad you have them. As bad as it may hurt, as bitter as defeat may taste, okay? You be a man, and you show class. With about 10 seconds left, I, she told me they had the camera on me. And, and my allergies was acting up. Uh -huh. We know those other schools are there, and I told them, you know, the reality is the, the, where we are, it's like the Kardashians, and, and we're not Kim. You know, so we, <laughs> with us, I don't know the other girl name, but. I mean, y'all can help me with that one, but we're the other ones, you know, with no disrespect, but we're the other ones, so we got to fight because we got Kim and I think it's Chloe and, and somebody, yeah, you know, we're struggling, we're, for, we're robbed right now, we're fighting, we're fighting for our respect, for people to notice us, man, and, you know, that's what it's about. That's the evolution, it's, it's almost like seeing your child grow, it's like seeing your child write in cursive or graduate at the end of the year, you know, that's the process. You know, that as a coach, you try to 
give them. When you own your truth, no one can use your truth against you. I told our kids the other day, it was funny, we were walking outside and I stopped everybody and I picked up a penny off the ground and I put it in my pocket and they were like, Coach, what you doing picking up pennies? You And it was a perfect analogy and segue to what we need to do with this team. Like, you can't look at the dollar bill, look at the pennies and add up all the pennies and then you'll have enough money in your piggy bank. I'm a penny guy. When I grew up, a penny could buy you some gum, a moon pie, and, 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 and you know, you get enough of them, you could get your ice, you know, where I'm from. And that's better than me. You're gonna be successful. I don't care what you're doing. You gotta have a passion. So forget the impossible. It was impossible for people to think you could bend some metal and fly a plane. But the Wright brothers thought that. It was impossible for somebody to think that you could hit a switch and some light will come on. But Edison thought that. It was impossible when they thought Mike Tyson couldn't lose to Buster Douglas. But that happened. It's not about the jersey. It's not about the name on the front of the chest. Today ain't St. Patrick's Day. Today was Valentine's Day. Because I needed to see your heart. When you believe in something, the only person that gotta believe in it is you. Everything else is for the birds, man.